Okay, got a little bit of an interesting situation here today that I thought you guys would be interested in on these uh, two Victron smart charge controllers, 100 amp, or I'm sorry, 100 volt, 50 amp solar charge controllers uh, in sync with each other. And you can see they're both in absorption. And here's what's interesting. The battery pack, 600 amp hours, 35.4% full. So how could that be? And here looking at the app, you can see both of those chins. Uh, bounces around a little bit. 13.71 volts and 13.79 volts fluctuating. It's been very cold, rainy day. Panels are very cold. It's been dark mostly. So it, what happened was when the sun came out, full sun just briefly, uh, both those batteries went to 14.1 briefly, which is where I have the absorption set for now. So it's a long way from a, a full charge. And you can see now that the sun has kind of settled down, gone behind some clouds. The battery voltage is quickly dropping 13.6. Basically both on the same page there. Still an absorption. Notice this the other day and it was like, okay, well, they're a very, very long way from finishing off an absorption charge, which would hold it there for two hours. And if they were at 14.1. So what's going to happen is this is going to quickly resort back to bulk charging. I noticed this the other day for the first time when the battery pack was definitely not fully charged. And I peeked back here and saw that they were in absorption. So technically when they both hit 14.1, ever so briefly when it was pumping in over a thousand watts, it quickly went up to 14.1. It wasn't really a true state of charge. It's just, it went up there momentarily. The charge controller switched over to 14, uh, to absorption because it hit the absorption voltage. But it wasn't able to sustain that and it's not going to be able to sustain that. So what it will do today at some point here, maybe momentarily, but I don't know. It will go back into bulk and then start another absorption phase. Because even if I could hold 14.1 for two hours, I, I can't do that now. There's just no way. So I just thought that was interesting. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this same thing. Long way from having 600 amp hours available. Been dark, dark, dark and raining just nonstop for day after day. It's not gonna change much. So I'm probably gonna give this battery pack a rest, switch uh, what's running off of this system over to one of the other systems I have up and running. But I really wanted to show you guys that because that was interesting. So let it focus here. Yeah, those two batteries, the chins and the chins lower string, 13.84, 13.76, roughly 800 and some watts coming in. And you can see it creeping back up, 13.96, 14.1, but it's not going to hold that under these conditions for two hours. Anyway, I found it interesting. I'm sure you guys have seen this happen as well. Nothing to worry about. Those charge controllers would still get this up to a full charge given the right conditions. But like I said, uh, we're not gonna get any real sustained sunshine today. So kind of a false alarm of really being in absorption, true absorption. Okay, I just came back here just for a minute to try to catch it going back into bulk and it was in bulk when I walked back here and you can see those voltages on those two batteries are reading basically identical about 13.5 volts and it was back in the blue light bulk phase and before I could turn the camera on uh, those cold panels caught some 
uh, a burst of sunshine, shot it up to 14.1 ever so briefly, and it clicked back into absorption. <laughs> so that's how it goes. Uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys that it doesn't, it's not a true absorption uh, phase that it's in, and it will kick back into bulk phase here momentarily. I was hoping to show that to you on camera, but like I said, the minute I turned the camera on, uh, caught some sun, went back into absorption. And if I come over here, you can see it's still trying to tell me it's in absorption, but it is truly not there. And it will go back into blue light. So if you happen to see that, uh, the Victron takes care of it. It knows. And once the, these cloudy conditions persist and it settles the, the battery bank down and well below that 14.1, it'll resort back to bulk. And it's going to do that momentarily. But I'm not going to let the camera run for that. But anyway, I just missed it by a second. Because there it is, 39% full on a 600 amp hour battery pack. And there it is. Now hardly any sun coming in. You can see about 70 watts. 13.34, 13.35. Settling into more of a true state of charge without the uh, fluctuation of the higher voltages. And that's how it goes. Oh, and here it is, five seconds after that last clip. There it is. They switched back to bulk, as they should. It's really in a bulk stage. It's dark and rainy once again. There it is, as you can see. 60-some watts coming in, 13.34 for the battery pack and it's resorted back to bulk. So if you have see that, you don't need to worry about it. It'll uh, figure itself out. Long way from a true absorption phase. Still in the bulk phase. All right, just had to show you guys that. Yeah. This is what we've been getting. A lot of rain, dark. So it goes, living on solar. Aloha, everybody.